Hey guys, Tim here, JK Boots. Today we wanna to talk about the difference between leather laces and nylon laces, and maybe which one is better, which one could be used for what, and kind of what the differences are. So let's dive right in. Uh, let's start with the classic, you know, tried, true, and tested leather lace. Currently, this is kind of the default lace that we send or use with all of our boots. And you know, overall, leather laces, is, they are really, really good. Um, they're definitely tough, durable, they last a long time. And we see this lace being a, a choice lace amongst firefighters, welders, fabricators, basically anything that has to do with heat, just for that number one reason that leather doesn't melt or necessarily burn like nylon would. Uh, but leather laces have been around for a really, really long time. And there's a reason for that, and that's because they just ultimately are so tough. They're cut from a, um, you know, literally a hide of leather is, is, is laid out and a machine goes and cuts them into this nice cube shape. And with the speed hooks that we have, they fit in there really nicely and snugly. So they, they're really stiff when you get them laced up and they kind of hold in there really well. And they like to kind of, you know, however tight you might lace your boot up is how, how snugly they'll hold that shape. So they do really well in that aspect. Um, a few of the cons that leather laces can have is that they are thick and stiff. And so it takes a little bit even for the leather lace itself to break in. So sometimes we've heard uh, people will receive them and they'll actually oil up their leather laces as well as the boots. Uh, we don't necessarily recommend or not recommend that, but it's just kind of an old wives tale. And that will help kind of loosen up that leather lace and help it be a little bit smoother running through the speed hooks. The other con that we'll hear sometimes is because of the nature of leather, where it's an organic hide and it literally came from an animal, it's hard to determine sometimes what part or fibers of the hide could be a little bit softer or a little bit weaker versus other parts. And so sometimes, rarely, we'll hear the tendency of a leather lace snapping. And that's just because literally that one fiber or that one spot on the hide was just a little bit weaker. And for whatever reason that might be, whether it was a scar or a vein or an animal bite or a bug bite or whatever it was on the cow that we can't see because we don't cut the laces, we, we um, get them from a lace manufacturer that we, we can't see when we give the laces away, they could snap or pop sometimes people will call them. You know, typically with nylon, that doesn't happen because nylon is a synthetic material and it's more, a little more consistent. When you're dealing with an organic material like this, it's a little more inconsistent. So that is kind of a part there. And it's just that stiffness factor. And you know, sometimes it can get annoying, you know, running it through the speed hooks, running it through the outlets because they're thicker, because they're stiffer, even though they do break in over time. So the pros of, an, of, a, of a leather lace, definitely, if you're a firefighter or a welder, you want leather laces for sure. And the pro is it's tough, it's thick, it's stiff, lasts a long time. The con, it can snap, it can pop. It's a little bit uncomfortable and annoying to lace at times. And also sometimes people can talk about how it kind of wears on your fingers a little bit just because it is such a durable and tough lace. So overall, it's a pretty good lace and it's kind of this tried, true, and tested lace that we've had forever. When we move on to nylon laces or really any kind of uh, paracord, I should say, lace, any kind of synthetic type lace, Really, really good lace. Um, it also comes with its own pros and cons. Um, for example, if you're doing anything other than firefighting or welding or any kind of any heat or sparks, this is definitely a viable option. I do not recommend it if you're a firefighter or if you're a welder. If you do want to run a paracord nylon lace, I'd recommend a um, lace that's actually covered in like grease or wax that won't melt or a specific paracord that doesn't melt like some guys do run. Um, and so those, those work really well for that. I personally prefer the nylon lace because I feel like it's a little bit easier to lace up. I feel like it's a little bit easier in my hands and it actually runs through the speed hooks a little bit easier. And I also feel that like it's almost kind of faster to lace up because it's just a little bit more malleable and a little bit easier to run in my hands. Um, so I like the nylon laces for that reason. I also think they're good because they don't have that snapping or popping effect. It's a synthetic material. It's consistent all the way across. And you know, I'm not gonna have a part of it that you know, pops or snaps. It's, I'd say, a little bit less likely for some kind of a weird malfunction to happen with a synthetic lace. Other than that, both laces will pretty much do the same thing and they'll hold up in you know, relatively the same way. Um, and it's, it's, you know, they're, they're both good options. It's more just kind of diving into what you personally prefer or what you might needs, your needs might be based on your work. Um, there's a question that we get a lot, which is like the wear on the eyelets or the wear on the hooks. So I've gone back and forth just from seeing different things, but I will say that I think that the synthetic paracord slash nylon lace does wear a little bit harder on the brass eyelet than the leather does. I just literally think that's because the fibers of this synthetic nylon material are like a little sharper. It kind of feels like the nylon lace is a little sharper. And with friction on the brass, it just seems to wear down a little bit faster. 
It feels though, when we get back boots from, for resoles and rebuilds, that with leather laces, they don't seem to wear down the eyelets as bad, even though both do and will, and eyelets are, in, are not indestructible, so they will wear down with time. But it seems like there's a little bit more evidence leaning towards nylon or paracord laces, wearing down eyelets and hooks a little bit faster than leather laces would. So take that as you will, take it with a grain of salt, try both. You know, I recommend that you get a pair of leathers, run them for a while, see how you like them. Get a pair of nylons, run them for a while, see how you like them. And just really experiment. And it might be that you wanna keep one set for a particular job or purpose with leather laces and another set for a particular job and, uh, and, and, you know, and purpose with nylon laces. So it really kinda comes down to you, what you'd like to do. So I hope that answers your questions. Uh, check out other videos, comment below if you have anything else you'd like to talk about. And we'd love to see you on the next one. See ya.